Granny. Miss Old Yankee Bear to go on back. Oh, but in the end, Miss <coughs> Goldtit tunnel right over the back of the rape. <coughs> Just because he gets in their garden, he's her nasty old cat. Dorothy, honey, it'll have to wait. We're busy. But he doesn't do it every day. Just once or twice a week. And he can't catch her nasty old cat anyway. And now she said she's going to get the sheriff and... We're coming. We've got to get the logs in. Huh? What am I going to do about Miss Galt? Now look at Dorothy. You ain't even doing right about Miss Galt. Think you didn't have any brains at all. I have so got brains. Listen, kid. You're going to let that old grudge heifer try to buffalo you? She ain't nothing to be afraid of. Just have a little courage. That's all. <coughs> here, here. What's with all the job we'll have on the for there's work to be done? Go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Annie yeah, M, you know what Miss Goat said she was going to do to Toto? Now, Dorothy, dear, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Just help us out today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble? Do you suppose there is a place, Toto? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain. Tied up. He's really gentle. With gentle people, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order allowing me to take him. Unless you want to go against the law. Now we can't go against the law. I'm afraid poor old Toad will have to go. No, I won't let you take him. Or I'll bite you myself. Dorothy. Please, Annie M. Don't let me take Toto. Please, please don't. Give her the dog, Henry. No! Why, you're nothing but a wicked old witch. <laughs> Elmira Gulch, just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run for the rest of us. For 23 years I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, well, being a decent woman I just can't say it. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me, you're running away. 
What? How did you guess? Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. Now why are you running away? Nobody at home cares about me. They wouldn't even miss me. Now I wouldn't be so sure of that. They wouldn't honestly. And he almost gonna let Toto be destroyed for writing the skulls. Here. Sit right down here. That's it. Ha ha. My, it's beautiful. Yes, yes, it is. Now gaze into the crystal ball with me. Aha, uh -huh, I see a woman. She's wearing a dress. Is it a polka dot dress? It is, and her face is careworn. That's Aunt Em. Her name is Emily? That's right. What's she doing? <coughs> well, I can't quite see why she's crying. Oh, now she's putting her hand... She's walking into a little bedroom. Does it have poppies on the wallpaper? Yes, yes, there are poppies on the wallpaper. And now she's putting her hand on her heart. She, she's dropping down on the bed. Oh! That's all. The crystal's gone dark. You don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Come on, Toto. Goodbye, Professor Marvel, and thanks a lot! You better get home quickly. There's a storm blowing up. A whopper to speak in the vernacular of the peasantry. <laughs> Poor little kid. I hope she gets home all right. <laughs> on the Wicked Witch of the East. And here's the house. And here you are. And that's all that's left to the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh! And so what the munchies want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Oh, but I've already told you, I'm not a witch at all. Witches are old and ugly. What's that? The munchkins. They're laughing because I am a witch. I'm Glinda, the Good Witch of the North. You are? Oh, I beg your pardon, but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. I didn't know. The munchkins are happy because you have freed them from the Wicked Witch of the East. But if you please, what are munchkins? The little people who live in this land is munchkin land, and you are their national heroine, my dear. It's all right, you may all come out and thank her. It's all right now, you may all come out. Oh, no, no. 
the Wicked Old Witch at last is dead! Yeah! Back my ruby slippers. I'm the only one who knows how to use them. They're of no use to you. 
Give them back to me. Give them back. Keep tight inside of them. The magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. You said it's good enough. I'll fix you as well. <laughs> oh, rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone before someone drops a house on you. Very well. All by my time. As for you, my fame lady, it's true, I can't attend to you here and now as I'd like. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and a little dog, too. <laughs> Enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether. But which is the way back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? Oh, very good, but very mysterious. He lives in Emerald City, and that is a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? Huh? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Well then, you'll have to walk. The Munchkin will see you safely to the border of Munchkinland. And remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet for a moment, or you would be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. But how do I start for Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning, and all you have to do is follow the Yellow Brick Road. But what happens if I get lost? Just follow the Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Go so quickly here. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. sure do an awful lot of talking, don't they? <laughs> I suppose so. Have we met properly? Why no. I'm Dorothy, and this is my dog Toto. Ruff! How do you do, both of you? Very well, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm not feeling at all well. You see, it's very tedious being stuck up here all day long with a pole up your back. That must be terribly uncomfortable. Can't you get down? Down? No, you see, I'm... Well, I'm... Um, let me help you. Of course, I'm not great about doing things, but if you just bend the nail down in the back, maybe I'll slip off and... Oh! Whoops! <laughs> there goes something for me again. Does it hurt you? 
Oh no, I just keep picking it up and putting it back in again. Oh! My! It's good to be free. <laughs> I'm a failure because I haven't got a brain. What would you do with a brain if you had one? Do. What if I had a brain? I could wall away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. trouble. A witch? I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not afraid of anything except a lighted match. I don't blame you for that. But I face a whole box full of them for the chance of getting some brains. Look, I won't be in any trouble because I don't eat a thing. And I won't try to manage things because I can't think. Won't you take me with you? Why, of course I will. Hooray! We're off to see a wizard! <laughs> to Oz? To Oz! We're off to see the wizard! Again. 
Oh dear, how did you ever get like this? Well, about a year ago, I was chopping that tree, minding my own business, when suddenly it started to rain. And right in the middle of the chop, I rusted solid, and I've been that way ever since. Well, you're perfect now. Perfect. Bang on my chest. See if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead. Bang on it. Beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart? No heart. All hollow. When a man's in a deep kettle, he should be on his metal and get torn apart. Just because I presume that it could be kind to human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. And really feel the part. I could stay young and chipper, and I'm walking with the zipper if I only had a heart. That was wonderful. Why don't you come with us to Emerald City to ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart? Why, that's a long and dangerous journey, and it might rain on the way. Just been saying how much you want a heart, and I'll keep the oil can handy. Well, suppose the wizard wouldn't give me one when we got there. He will. He must. We've come such a long way already. <laughs> Helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her. I'll make a beehive out of you, Tin Man, and I'll suffer mattress with you, Scarecrow. Ruff, 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 ruff. Grr! As for you, my pretty. I wish you luck with the Wizard of Oz and a happy journey back to Kansas. <laughs> Stuff a mattress with me? Ha! I'll see that you get safely to the wizard whether I get a brain or not. Beehive, I'll see you reach the wizard whether I get a heart or not. Oh, you guys are the best friends anyone can ever have. To Oz, to Oz. <laughs> Under my eyes, I haven't slept in weeks. Why don't you try counting? Why don't you try? Why don't you try counting sheep? Doesn't do any good. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> don't you think the wizard could help him too? I don't know. I don't see why not. I'm sure the wizard of Oz can give you some courage. Well, wouldn't you feel degraded if you seen in the company of a cowardly lion? I would. No, of course not. Well, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Get 
Yes, he said, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the venom bird. But I could show my powers be a lion, not a mouse if I only had the nose. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a tin lion. I say I don't deserve. I'd be brave as a blizzard, I'd be gentle as a blizzard, I'd be clever as
couple of Oz. Listen and listen well. Bring forward the pretty one that goes by the name of Dorothy. Dorothy? Who's Dorothy? So that's how you want to play it, eh? Here's a message for the girl. See that she gets it. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, we better hurry if we want to see the wizard. There's a guard right over there. Maybe he can help. He, maybe he can point us to the, dire to the direction of the wizard. <laughs> if you please, sir, can you direct us to the wizard? Nobody can see the great Oz. Not nobody. Not know how. Oh, but we must. I got a permit just for the occasion. Not nobody. Not know how. But she's Dorothy. The witch is Dorothy. Well, that makes a difference. Just wait right here. I'll announce her at once. Did you hear that? He'll announce this at once. I have good as got my brain. I can barely hear my heart beating. I'll be home in time for supper. In another hour, I'll be king of the forest. Long live the king. <laughs> Just thinking, I really don't want to see the wizard this much. I better wait for you outside. <laughs> oh, he's just scared again. Don't you know the wizard's going to give you some courage? I'd be too scared to ask him for it. Oh, well, then we'll ask him for you. I'd sooner wait outside. Oh, come on. Oh, what happened? Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, you did it yourself. <laughs> The small meat. We've come to ask you. Jiminy Cricket! It's me. You cuckling, clangling, clattering collection of clangliest junk! You see a wild laugh. You're walking down the yellow brick road and. Quiet! Oh, and you, Scarecrow, have the effort to ask for a brain. You billowing, bale, bovine, fire! 
your honor. I, I mean your excellency. I, I mean your wizardry. Enough! And your lion. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Frightening him like that when he came to you for help. Silence, whippersnapper. The benefits of Oz has every intention of granting your request. What's that? What did he say? But first you must prove yourselves worthy by performing a very small task. Bring me the broomstick of the Wicked Witch of the West. But we have to kill her to get it. Bring me her broomstick and I'll grant her request. Now go! Well, what if she kills us first? I said go! to do that worries me. It's how to do it. These things must be done delicately. Run, Toto, run! Watch him, you fools! He got away! He got away! Which is more than you will! Drag you and your dog! <laughs> you see, 
see this sour glass. That's how much longer you have to be alive. And it isn't long, my pretty. It isn't long. <laughs> My paws are getting tired from all this searching. It's Toto! Where have you been? What's he saying? The Wicked Witch has Dorothy locks in her tower. <laughs> oh, I hate to think of Dorothy in that awful place. We've got to do something. Don't cry now. We haven't got the oil can with us and you're already squeaking enough as it is.
Well, ring around the rosy, a pocket full of spears. Thought you'd be pretty foxy, didn't ya? Well, I'm gonna start in on you right here after the other. And the last to go will be the first three go before her. And her mangy little dog, too. Hmm, where to begin? Ah, uh, yes. How about fire, scarecrow? Oh, you cursed brat! Look what you've done! A oh, melting! Melting! May we have it? Yes, and take it with you. Now we can go back to the wizard run and tell him the wicked witch is dead! The wicked witch is dead. <laughs> Dorothy back to Kansas. And what about the heart you promised Tin Man? And the courage you promised the Cowardly Lion? And the Scarecrow's brain? But you've got them! You've had them all the time! Oh, oh no, no, we, we haven't. haven't! Of course you do! Why, Scarecrow, anybody can have a brain. This is a very mediocre commodity. Back where I come from, we have universities where men go to become great thinkers. And they have no more brains than you. But they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma! A diploma? Gee! Therefore, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Doctor of Pathology. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Joy Rapture, I've got a brain! How can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can't. As for you, my fine lion friend, you're under the delusion that because you want to write from danger, you have no courage. You are confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes, and they have no more courage than you. But they have one thing you haven't got, a medal. Therefore, for conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. The Triple Cross? You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> As for you, my galvanized tin friend, you want a heart. You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be practical until they can be made unbreakable. But I still want one. Yes. Back where I come from, we have men who do nothing all day but good deeds, and their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got, a testimonial. Did you hear that? A testimonial. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I award you with a small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, a heart is not judged by how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. It ticks. Hey, what about Dorothy? Oh, I don't think there's anything in that bag for me. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her there myself. But are you not a clever enough wizard to manage it? I'm an old Kansas man myself. The mere balloon is to the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company until one day the balloon failed to return to the fair. It did? Then, suddenly the wind changed and fl the balloon floated me down to the heart of this noble city where I was instantly acclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. Oh. And in that balloon, you and I will return to the land of E Pluribus Unum. Did you hear that? He's going to take me home. <laughs> Citizens of Oz, I hereby decree that the scarecrow
to go back to Kansas. I have? Well then why didn't you tell her that before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? I learned that it wasn't enough to want to go see Uncle Henry and Annie Em again. And if I ever go looking for my heart's desire, I won't go looking further than my very own backyard. Because if it isn't there, then I've really lost it to begin with. Is that right? That's all it is. Oh, but that's so easy. I should have thought of it for you. And I should have felt it in my heart. Well, she had to learn it for herself. Now, those ruby slippers will take you home in two seconds. Toto two? Toto two. Now? Whenever you wish. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to say goodbye. Goodbye, Tin Man. Here's your oil can back. Now I know I've got a heart because it's breaking. Goodbye, Lion. I'm going to miss the way you used to hide for help before you found your courage. I would have never found it if it hadn't been for you. Oh, Scarecrow, I think I'm going to miss you most of all. Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready now. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself, there's no place like home. 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 Dorothy, Dorothy dear, it's in our darling. Annie M, is it really you? Hello, is there anybody home? I just came by because I heard the little dog got caught in the west. She seems out right now. She got quite a bump on her head. For a minute, we thought she was going to leave us all. But I did leave you, and I tried to get back for days and days. There, there, it was just a bad dream. Remember? Remember me, you old pal hunk? And me, Hickory. You couldn't forget my face, could ya? Oh, but it wasn't you. It was a place. And you, and you, and you, and you were there. Oh, but you couldn't have been, could you? Oh, we dreamed lots of silly things. Oh, but it wasn't a dream. It was a real, true life place. Some of it wasn't very good, but most of it was beautiful. And all I kept saying to everybody is that I want to go home. And they sent me home. Does anybody believe me? Of course we believe you, Lord. And this is my room and 